All right, welcome back to Trays and Dues. Um, it's been a while since I last played, and there has been an update since then. Uh, basically, a bunch of, well, one main game level has been added, I think, to introduce a mechanic. And then there's a bunch of levels that have been made by people who have played the game. Um, I think mostly, if not entirely, people on the Thinky Puzzle Discord. So, um, yeah, let's give them a go. You'll see I have also added, up in the top right corner, a little overlay, which I think will make it clearer what I'm doing. I think that's quite nice. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that will make it uh, more obvious what's going on, like which, which kind of undo I'm doing it each time. Would have been nice if I'd done that for the... <laughs> the original two videos that I did for this game. Uh, sadly, I didn't know what I was getting into, so I didn't know I was gonna need it. Um, yeah, hopefully that should help. Anyway, so let's um, let's jump in. Uh, do I wanna, maybe I'll remind myself a little bit <laughs> how to think about these things. Uh, right, that was the color changing thing that changes the color of the thing. Oh, also I noticed I have a, a new hat and I remember seeing a screenshot that might indicate something about what that means. Um, I don't know exactly how it works mechanically, but I guess I'll find out soon. That's probably what's introduced in 4.0, I would guess. Um, so I can, how's it work? I can push things around, they can change color. I can undo using a normal undo, pressing Z. And that just undoes back to there. But the things that are orange and red, there aren't any red things in there, don't undo with that. If I press X, it's a really undo. And then the orange thing does undo. But if I do this and do that, yes, it does as well. And if I do this and press Z, it does as well. But otherwise it doesn't come with me, right? Because at that point it's a it's a gray thing. I, I remember basically, and then red's the same except with the red statues, and it's like another layer deeper. Okay, let's just let's just go to four and hope that I can do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can see there are hats on the floor. That is ex exactly what I was expecting to see. So, uh, what I want to do is something. What do I want to do? I guess go and pick up that hat and find out what happens. <laughs> okay, so I am no longer affected by the Z undo, the gray undo. Only that is, so that's like moving back by itself. Uh, I've probably gone too far. Yeah, so I guess what I want is to do this, that you go there and then push you down. That lets me cross this way. So at this point, I'm no longer affected by the gray undo. I'm basically like a, a yellow statue or a gold statue, whatever whatever color it is. Um, so in order to get that red hat, I would have to push this into there. But am I not gonna have a problem? Because if I stand there and do this, I'm not affected. Like, like what I would normally do now is do a gray undo to get past that. Oh my gosh, okay. As soon as I press Z, the, the gray statue starts moving. Oh, so like nothing is, none of my moves added anything to the gray stack at all. The last thing that happened for the gray stack was the gray statue moving. So that moves immediately as soon as I start pressing Z, I guess. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, maybe you go back there. What if I push you in here, push you up? go here, then do a Z undo. I can then use this to cross the red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I'm not gonna be affected by the gray or the yellow undo. All right. I'm not affected by the gray or the yellow undo. So I want to do a, no, I don't want to do a red undo. I want to get the yellow back here because I'll never get the gray away from the wall. So I want to get the yellow back to where it was. So, so to undo the yellow, I'd have to do a yellow undo. Uh. 
<laughs> I think I want to... Wait, where did you... You were there originally, right? Well, if I stand here... No, how would I get you to go to the right? I'm unaffected by... I guess I can never get my hats back because I can never undo. That's, a, that's an interesting property of this because I can't go back and un, like lose the hat. Oh, except I probably could by doing this, which is like the main undo. If I do a red undo, yeah, I lose the hat. Okay, I can, but only by doing the undos that are available to me, of course. Um, right, what am I doing? <laughs> So I want the yellow to come back, which I have to do a yellow undo to make that happen. And now I'm phased through this thing. At this point, that's where the yellow started. How do I end up, if I do that, and do a red undo, well, that just happens. But I can't, if I push that up, I can't do, a red undo would just push this back, and a yellow undo would push that back without me. And I'm phased through. Oh, but I could do... No, I can't. <laughs> you need to go there. If I could do a yellow undo that took you into that position, that'd be good, but I can't. Yeah, I can't. Okay, the gray's back where it was. Um, how would I ever... Rather than hitting all the undoes to see if any of them do anything interesting here. Okay, the only place I can push that to the right from is, is there in a, in a useful way. Otherwise, it's against this bottom wall, and I can't push it to the right there. So it has to be there. So how do I like I now have to get access to the red hat? How do, once I've got a red hat though, how do I ever get behind something? Let's maybe start again. Go up here and do. This. Okay, and that can go there. Is there anything useful about me going into like this position now? But as a red hat, I'd have to do the red. With a red hat, I'd have to do. Oh, but I could have just. Uh, no, hold on. So if with a red hat, only the gray and yellow undo's do anything. But the problem is I can't have that movement be part of an undo. Can I? Yeah. I'm never getting the gray up here, so it has to be that one that I'm pushing to the right. I really have to get that red hat, and then somehow I can get past this. If I stand here and do, sure, I can do a bunch of yellow and do's, and you'll only go there if that's where you started. How would I get you to go any further up? It's a real undo, and then the yellow hat just vanishes. <laughs> real undo push that back there oh my gosh this is hard to think about
Yes, because if I do that and then undo that and then do a real undo, you go back. Okay, understood. Uh, I don't know what state I'm in right now, so I'm going to do it again. So this, that, uh, that. You go there. You come back out. Uh, how do I get behind you again? Oh, uh, ooh, uh, that's fine. This, you go back. You go in here. Did I push the yellow up? I don't think I did. I needed to. Do it again. Ah, I keep forgetting to just push you all the way or undo you all the way. Then you come back out. You come here. You go back down. You're there. Oh, I didn't do it again. I didn't do it again. Why don't I just do a real undo where I can recreate it? Okay. Sure, you go there. So I want to do that and bring you back with a yellow undo. Do this. Bring you back with a grey undo. Put that in there, put the red hat on. Then do yellow undos while standing here. No, red undos while standing here. Oh no, that makes me move. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna move. It needs to be a red undo. Tell whether I had a good idea or that was totally wrong. Yeah, the problem I have is let's do that bit again. Yeah, I did that bit correctly now. Once I get here, the thing I was doing was I was being like, oh, I can do that, and do it with a yellow and do stand here and put and push that up with a red hat on. But no, I move. I move with the red hat. So with the red hat on, if I press red, if I press the red button. Wait, so having the red hat on stops, the only thing it does is stops gray and yellow from moving me. So therefore a gray or yellow undo has to put that into position so that I can be standing there with my red hat. But there is no, there's no way that could happen, right? Like you're not affected by the Z undo, so it would have to be the yellow undo, but then you'd have to have been there in the first place. What? Is the red hat a trap? No, definitely not. Because I mean, also from here, that, like the only way that could go up into position is by now just the gray undo from, from working. This isn't possible. I'm stuck on the first level. <laughs> This is just meant to be introducing the mechanic, but so, what? <laughs> sure, you, 
you do that, let's do this again. This feels like this has to be right, because this is the only way to get across to the red, as far as I'm aware. What on earth can I do now, though? <laughs> I can't pull anything away from this wall. Therefore, the yellow has to come back out and go back to where it was. And me with my red hat, I mean, I could have done that using the real undo as well, but then I lose my red hat. So I don't want to do that. I'd just, I'd just be actually undoing the progress that I've made. But then you can't ever, there's no, I can do that, but, oh, 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 do a real undo. That's, oh, okay, I see. Face through it, all right. <laughs> Thanks for playing, that's not the end. Uh... <laughs> Play it back. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I should have gone to that before I started 4.1 because it looks like there's going to be player levels for each mechanic. Like, this isn't going to involve that. Okay. Yeah. There's no hats here. That's all right. Okay. We've got one by Bender Book Sidewalk Salsa. Interesting. They've got names. Hmm. Okay, sidewalk salsa. We have a gray and a yellow. A statue has to go in there. I have to face, I have to end up on here and push another statue down there. So the only one I can undo while leaving one in that hole is the gray one. So can I get a gray one to end up on top of Do this and undo. Uh, gosh, it's so hard to get back into this game. <laughs> or is it the opposite that I want to do? That does that. Sure, I can get. No, I can't get behind this. So it has to be the gray one that goes in there. Therefore, I have to like push this out of the way, otherwise the green one's gonna get stuck. So you have to go there. I potentially can like bring you back. No, I can't, because that undo undoes the yellow statue and the gray statue. So if I'm pushing you in there, the problem is to get the yellow away from the wall again. I'd have to do that. Hmm. Like the only one I, I can separate them like this, which is interesting. Why don't I separate them? Can I get them into a better position after separating them? Sure, I can. Interesting. That is what I was planning to do. Then I can get you there. That's not what I want to do. That is definitely not what I want to do. I can't put the gray in the hole and then have that as like a recording that I'm going to replay because every undo undoes it. So. So it has to be the orange that's in the hole. But then I can't get behind the gray. Is it possible that I end up floating over a hole? Because I remember that being a thing. How exactly did that work? 
I guess I would have to... How did that work? I put you in there, and do this, and then do that and do... Well, I'm doing the red and do. I would have had to have gone like this, right? No, wait, what am I doing? Because if I press that, I can definitely undo everything. Okay, hold on, let me get you back. Sorry, this is gonna take me a while to get back into it. It's so hard to think about. So if you go there, and I've stood on this space, the thing, any undo makes me go back, any undo makes you go back. So I can't ever float on that hole. If I put you in that hole, Yellow or red makes you come back out and me, and gray makes only me move. But by the time you're back out, that will be empty again. Yeah, I also can't get past this. Holy moly. <laughs> this is going to be hard. <laughs> There's no changing of hat colors. I think the part of the problem is I've got that in my head now. That's like a potential thing that could happen. Like me not moving, but no, I'm going to move with everything. That's going to move with everything. This is the only one that I can do anything fancy with. With like this. My issue with doing this is that, sure, I can split you apart, but then to get onto the other side of the orange, I'd have to, so maybe there's something else I can do there. Maybe I can, like what even happens if I do this? Okay, that has split them in a way that I couldn't split them before. So that is something different. But still, I don't want the orange to be the thing that goes in. Holy moly. Um, <laughs> uh, could I have, okay. Could I have, because I like the idea of stacking them, which I can do by doing this and then doing a gray undo. I think what I would like is to have the orange on the left, but accessible without me undoing through it. Why do I want that? Because then I could, Teleport to the other side of it. Yes, that's exactly what I want. How do I end up with the orange on the left, but accessible? Because yeah, I want the gray to go in effectively. Okay. I can't make them stack like that. If I make the orange come back, I love how I'm changing. It's orange, yellow, gold, whatever. Um, 
So the only way to make them stack is like this, I think. Or I get them to stack against the edge because I could do like this and then put the orange yellow there and then. But I don't want them to be stacked against the edge. So stacking them would be this. Okay. Then to separate them so the orange is on the left, they'd have to go like this, which I can do. But then the orange is there where I don't want it. I want to do that one space further over. Then that means me being over here, which I can't do if the gray's there. So that's not possible. Could I, okay, I don't have to undo all the way back to get to the other side of here. I could just step there now. But then they're going to be stuck together again, unless they get you further over. I can't have you further over, or can I? So back when you were stacked, if I push you any more to the right, we have a problem. So you have to have gone So I'll just see what happens. Okay. Hmm. To get orange over there and gray here, I'd have to do this. And that works, except that I'm not on the other side of the orange. And even if I was, I'd just be able to push it to the right and they'd both be stuck again. So to get gray to go here, I'd have to be able to undo it into the state, but gray can't be in there because I never would have been able to push it to the left in the first place. Unless I can do it some other easier way. Like... I do this. Yes, like that. No, why? Orange is never coming back. Unless I do a full on undo, in which case. Oh, but, okay, but I can like undo undos. So if I do that and then do that. No, but then every, everything undoes. Yeah. <laughs> this is so difficult. <laughs> I do not know how to wrap my head around this. What if I split these? And I'm thinking like move you out of the way and then put you there, but, th but then I can't get the yellow back without that coming back. Could I be standing on the orange? Can that ever happen? No, it's, yes. No, because any undo I do undoes me and the orange. Uh, no, except Z doesn't. That will undo just me. So yes, I can, in theory, stand on the orange. If I swap these over, split them, do this, and bring you. No. It's not bringing the orange back, it's bringing the, it's taking me away. Bringing the orange back requires an orange undo. Then I could undo until I'm on that space and then do that, okay. Okay, that's the position I want. And I put you in, there, I stand here, 
do this, I undo three, and I push that down. And I go, holy moly. <laughs> holy moly, okay, this, this game is complicated. And I imagine because uh, the people from the Thinky Puzzle Discord are evil, evil people. Uh, <laughs> these are all going to be pretty difficult puzzles. Now we've got one from Dom Camus who made the golem. So, uh, and, and that's well known for being a difficult game. <laughs> I haven't played it yet. It's on my list. Um, in the trench coats. Okay, we'll do it next time though. Um, <laughs> I am very overwhelmed, but I will get used to it. Well, no, I won't. I'll, by the end, I'll feel like, no, maybe I'm used to it, but it'll be the end. That's probably what will happen. And then I'll have to get the hat stuff back into my head again that I did at the beginning. Okay, um, next time we'll give this one a go. See what happens. All right, see you then. <laughs>